Hello once again YouTube, this is Pilsy74 bringing you another Assassin's Creed Revelations video commentary. This time I am once again playing Steal the Artifact in Sauk or Souk or whatever is Arabic for market because I'm not Arabic and I don't know how to pronounce it. So I didn't get the artifact first. Uh, I was a little far away and someone went through a chase broker that would have helped me. But I noticed that this guy is just running along the outside of the map, which might not be the best thing to do in this map. Normally running around the outside of the map is a fairly sound strategy in this mode, but when there are no roofs, no buildings, it's really not a great thing to do because, well, you can't climb up, you can't jump down, you can't jump around. It's just two levels. So you're not going to be able to jump around like you would on most of the other maps. So it was rather easy to catch and kill. Um, here I'm just blending in. Uh, I think I'm actually rather obvious because I'm standing in front of this barrel or whatever is behind me that no one is normally in front of. But I'm still standing here waiting for someone. Hey, hey finally someone. And I have proximity, and he kills someone else anyway. I have no idea why he killed someone else. But, um, killed him, got a dodge, and just found a moving blend group this time, which is my normal MO. Um, but got out of there, saw someone chasing me, and they caught me. Even so, still nice first streak. Got the best streak. You know, got the, uh, have the first blood bonus already. And as is my usual for Steal the Artifact, I will be, at least initially, looking for revenge. And then the other person pops up right near me in a moving blend group that's morphed. This time I'm running with um, Smoke and Mute. Sometimes I do run with Morph. And thank you for doing that. Hope the 200 points was worth it to you. Uh, I will run with Morph sometimes. Um, actually did ran, play with a bunch of games the other day when I was playing with Morph and I did well but uh, I don't know just some, I, I find myself doing better with Smoke and Mute than I do with Morph and Smoke which is my other set so thank you for being obvious and I'll stun you and thank you for running into my Smoke so I'm sure the first person that I stunned is now up and was chasing me at least Getting the proximity, going out, finding a moving blend group, and standing there. I have no abilities. Just want to move around the map slowly. Not, uh, you know, my hands are completely off my controller. I'm well, not off, but. And I'm probably going to get caught right here. But I don't. And I'm just thinking, chase breaker, chase breaker, chase breaker, chase breaker, or cheeseburger, cheeseburger, Pepsi, Pepsi. Um. But I go through the chase breakers and notice that my smoke is almost back. Go into this moving blend group, which is in the corner. This guy avoids me. And then there are two others. Right here, so I throw my smoke, get one, get out, and then I'm surrounded. There's no way in hell I'm getting out of that one. So, still another nice streak. I now have the two best streaks, because I had the best streak before this one also. And once again, I'm going for revenge. Because in this mode, you know, usually the person that pops up with your artifact, um, everyone else was originally chasing the other person. So it's good to go for revenge because usually you're, you're going to be the unluck. I am the only person on this artifact holder. So I know exactly who it is because of line of sight, and that just proved it twice. So I'm just going to walk this way, and I'm really surprised that revenge. that kill was that easy. There were no abilities used, no nothing. So I just went in, snuck in, got a nice, easy incognito uh, with revenge and variety, and uh, found another moving blend group to go into. So I'm going into the deathmatch area, which, um, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about deathmatch on, on this map. I've played it plenty of times, and sometimes I have great games, and sometimes it's just absolutely horrible. Like, you, you just. Those screens are so strategically placed that you just can't find uh, the person that you're going after. But I stunned her again. This person seems to be on me the whole time. 
going to the chase breakers, going to come over here, and there's someone else, and I screw up and throw the smoke, but I'm able to run back through the chase breaker. Never go straight across, because it's just e so easy for someone to go around. So this way, again, I'm getting a little surrounded by people. I have no abilities. I could have stopped at that at either of those blend groups, but I think I went in too hard. So I stop in this one. There are no arrows, which means that no one's in my line of sight. And that no one's, basically no one saw me sneak into that blend group. There's the Deacon. If he was using line of sight, he probably does know who I am. But, and there's the Sentinel and the Renegade. And look how many people are around me. So once I get the instant I get the smoke back, stun. Now the Trickster just got lured. I don't know, I just got a nice naked stun there. Three, and I'm out. And unfortunately, I screw up here and don't make immediate right, and I get caught. But still, to that streak and everything else with it, did pretty well by me. My score is almost doubled from what it was after the end of my last streak. Uh, so once again, <clears throat> going for revenge. Guys, right here. And watch this. I, I still can't believe this. I'm still absolutely stunned that this happened. So I see that there's two sentinels on a bench. And he's just standing there. Revenge. It's one of the worst things I've ever... You know, it's one thing to hide in a hay bale. It's another thing just to stand behind a screen and expect that no one's going to find you. Or, you know, I, I don't know what he was doing. Was he looking around? Did he just not see me? I have no idea. Now this guardian really should know who I am because of line of sight, but I get to mute and stun him anyway. Just again, go through those chase breakers, find another moving blend group, get in. And there's someone back there, there's the trickster. And I don't know if she knows who I am. She should now because of line of sight. And there's a whole bunch of people around me. So I get the trickster, and I get out. And what I should have done is made a left there and go to the chase breaker. But I made a right, and luckily got to this chase breaker. And go up the stairs and find another moving blend group. And this one has two copies of me already. Pretty sure that trickster is a player. Maybe not. Obviously he is. And I get out. I have very little time until my abilities are back. Um, so I'm just trying to waste time really until I get something. And uh, just running around the outside. Yes, get me with a knife. I don't know if I got credit for that stun or not. I was a little pissed off when that happened. Although my score is very nice. My high in this game mode up to this point was 99.55. Obviously, the minute 25 left, I'm hoping a 10k. I got both my abilities right back, which uh, I was very pleased. It was great timing for me. And um, remember what I was saying about hiding in the hay bale? Thank you for the. No, oh, I didn't get silent, but. <sighs> you, you gotta wonder sometimes about some people. So I know that I'm very close to 10k at this point. How close? That close. And that's 10k. So I'm happy. I know I have a new high score. I don't really remember what my um, my friend's hub is. And I completely screw up the end of this game. And I'll show you. I know that's a player right there. I know that was a decoy. And I'm an idiot that I locked him. And I didn't even notice him sneak up on me. I, when I watched the replay, I could not believe I did that. I was in shock that I let that happen. Now I'm going after him again, and I screw up even more. Because he's in the blend group that I was just in. Except, because of all these people, I don't see him. So I'm thinking he's in the blend... in, in there again. Oh, he was disguised as a thespian. I never noticed that the first time, or the first five times I watched this damn thing. Anyway, game over. New high score for me. You have finished first. 
10,190, six and a half minutes with an artifact out of 10. That is exactly what you have to do in this game mode. And so I was very pleased. I didn't get, I didn't move up my, my friend's board at all. But I think I'm third, maybe fourth. Um, and so I was very happy with this game, obviously. And here are my scores. If you like the commentary, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.